While the Russian armed forces are suffering defeat in their attempt to recapture the Kursk region from the Ukrainian armed forces, Russian TV is dreaming of victories over America. Propagandist Vladimir Solovyov called for devastating strikes against the United States on the state-run Russia One TV channel. On the program, the propagandists discussed the fight against the American dollar. Solovyov, after listening to the expert, proposed his own method, the complete destruction of the USA. My approach is much more humane, much faster and much simpler. The strait, named after Stalin in place of the United States. Cockroaches drown. People survive, we tell them in advance to run away, and the cockroaches drown, the propagandist said with a smile. His words greatly pleased the invited experts. Recently, Russian military expert Igor Korotchenko recently suggested on state-owned TV that the Kremlin plans to attack U.S. ships with nuclear weapons. Earlier, U.S. officials revealed to the Associated Press that President Joe Biden has since allowed Ukraine to use American-made weapons to fight against Russia's attacks or planned attacks in the Kharkiv region. The weapons are only allowed to be used to defend Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, and Kyiv is not to use American-provided long-range missiles. In my opinion, there is only one adequate, fast and effective response to the increased strikes against the territory of the Russian Federation with American long-range weapons since Biden and U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan have given the green light and Ukraine's armed forces will carry it out. Total destruction of all electrical generation in Ukraine, Korotchenko recently said. Recall Russia is amending its doctrine on the use of nuclear weapons as a response to perceived Western involvement in the Ukraine war. Despite Foreign Minister of Russia Sergei Ryabkov said that the decision to change the nuclear doctrine is connected with the escalation course of our Western adversaries. In late August, Ukraine confirmed it had used weapons supplied by the United States in its Kursk incursion. In theory, Russia could lower the threshold at which it might use nuclear weapons, a bar currently set for either nuclear attacks on its territory or conventional attacks that threaten its existence or sovereignty as a state. A widow kneeled next to her husband's grave as sirens wailed following rockets launched from Lebanon into northern Israel Monday. The mourners, attending the funeral of Alexei Popov who was killed by rockets, were seen taking cover behind gravestones as loud explosions and interceptions followed. Popov was killed Saturday in Acre, northern Israel, after a rocket attack fired from Lebanon. Israeli forces invaded southern Lebanon at the beginning of the month and have been operating in a narrow strip along the border. Israeli airstrikes have pounded large areas of the country, targeting what Israel says are Hezbollah sites. The militant group has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel since October 8, 2023, the day after its ally Hamas launched a surprise attack into Israel, triggering the war in Gaza. Wow, 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 why is the pop? Why is it a fall pop? I I mean. נשבע לך באלוהים. תקשיב, הרקטה נפלה פה, בבית העלמין. ממש, ראית את ה... את היירוט שנפל פה. אחי, היירוט נפל פה, בבית העלמין. רד למטה, תקשיב פה. רד למטה. 